Hey, it's Tim, and this lesson is about content that converts. So we've shared that content is a huge part of getting higher on Google, but what kind of things can you blog about that actually will get your company customers? The absolute ideal content is like, for instance, if you could share a blog post on Facebook and someone would read it and then submit a contact form, right? But you can't sell, because that's not gonna do it. You have to be useful. So here are some ways to make content that's useful, but then also makes people think about your service. One, you can create content that solves the problem for a prospect if they were trying to do it for themselves. So one of the examples of this is how to quickly mitigate a roof leak. You may not be the one to handle that, but then you can get the business of a repair or the replacement because they saw your brand, you were useful to them, and now they need that. Two, content that helps them at an earlier point than you'd normally help, but introduces your solution. So one, how much should a roof cost? Two, uh, what types of shingles are the best? Three, how to pick your siding colors and your trim, how to match them. All right, so the third big strategy is content that explains your entire process and strategy in detail, but also demonstrates all the ways to do it right. So you can actually share your process like how to roof a house. You could actually share that and most people won't do it. Four, content that talks about a competing solution and says, there's a better way. Uh, is there a giant national competitor in town? Talk about it. Why not use HomeAdvisor or Angie's List like a big purchase for a roof? You know, fourth is content that lists five to 10 solutions that they could use, including your competitors and sells your specialty within it. So the best roofing companies in your city. I know that's scary to do, but it's super useful and it's, it actually works. Five, talk about the problem. There's a copywriting strategy, problem, agitation, and solve. So every customer problem, they have a specific issue and their problem or the question could be a piece of content. So every time a prospect comes in, write down those questions. And six, the content upgrade. So you could actually do a piece of content, let's say in that roofing guide, how to roof a house, and you do the first five steps to roofing a house and then you've got a, a lead form that says, here's the full guide, download this full guide, or how to get cheap roofing materials or something, and then you've got the giant list of places to get roofing materials in your city and they can download that. And what you're doing is you're getting these people that, you know, you're getting their email right at a time when they're about to do something. You can obviously, you know, a lot of times it's not people that are gonna do this themselves, but a lot of times it's like, let's say that siding color trends or, you know, pairing siding colors with trim colors. If you do a content upgrade, you're able to then reach out to them personally and say, hey, it looks like you're looking to pair siding color and trim. Uh, we have a 3D tool that allows you to see this on your house. Would you be interested in that? Would you be interested in a free consultation? It's an opportunity to get in front of them. So this is how to create content that converts. And then also you wanna create other content that's not intended to get leads. You wanna you know, do these giant guides and things like that that aren't necessarily always selling at all. And that's because you want to rank higher on Google no matter what. You want more people into your website no matter what. And you want Google to see your website as an authority. So join me for the next lesson when I share with you ways to write content now. So I'm actually going to walk you through what it's like to write a blog post, where to put your keyword, how to use headlines, and how to use call to actions in a way that doesn't feel heavy handed. I want to talk through some elements of persuasion but also some elements of SEO in that lesson. So looking forward to that. See ya.